make the smallest katamari to date. I really want what to What is the Esperanto? Oh, it's a language that was invented uh, in an attempt to create a, um, a uh, linguistically consistent language. Um, basically the whole idea was that uh, they wanted all rules to be followed at all times in this language, and it was supposed to be the language of international discourse. Mm. That way no one could complain about someone getting an unfair advantage. Fair enough. So I'm one meter exactly. Oh god. 300 meters. 25 earth minutes. Why is the moon the biggest one? Who cares? It's a song. It's the theme song. Well, this was a decided mistake. I decidedly chose the worst way to start this off. Yep, you went in exactly the wrong direction. Do, 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 Maybe do, you can do, get those do, small fish. Do, 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 do. Those are not small. Oh, you there? Yeah, notice how I said small fish. Dude, I think this might be the final level. Look at that squid. I would imagine it is, Cameron. You don't typically play the theme song if it isn't. For like a level, I mean. Fair enough. Like it's like it's like a fight in an anime where they start playing the anime's opening theme in the middle of the fight. You know what's happening. Yeah. You know this is the shit. La 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 la. La 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 la. God damn, you have no rhythm. Nope. Well, to be fair, I think your and my songs are actually out of sync. Maybe. Oh god, the crocodile. Yeah, I can like distinctly hear a lag between yours and mine. Because my headphones are so goddamn loud and I love it. I'm gonna be deaf by the time I'm 30, but it'll You're be. You're gonna be deaf by the time we start another Let's Play. Whatever, I like my super loud headphones. Ran right into me. Stupid idiot. That's at the perfect trap, bumbling around like I was stupid. He fell right for it, he did. And yep. No one will ever say otherwise. Yep, you were just acting. The whole time. It was all an elaborate ruse ever since the Wind Waker playthrough. Yep. Turns out I'm actually a world-class Katamariist. Bet you didn't know that. Bet you weren't even aware of that. The ancient art of Katamara. Katamara, that's how you pronounce it. The ancient art of Katamarans. Cataphracty. Cactus. Oh boy, is this ever going well. Yeah, I think you found yourself trapped in a small circle of fuck. Fuck. Alright, that's better. Into my mass, screaming hordes. I'm like Justin Bieber, absorbing the screaming hordes into my bulk to gain power and insanity. Yeah, how the fuck did Justin Bieber turn into the thing that he is? Uh, I assume- He was some loser on the internet, what happened? Here, here's my theory. If you give anyone money, they will, if you give anyone who has no money a sudden influx of all the money, they will go insane. Case in point, right now, Cameron, if I gave you $30 million, there's a 5% chance you will spend that money wisely, and a 95% chance you will just go fucking nuts. I don't know, I'd like to think I'd spend that money somewhat wisely. It, like, the longer Granted, you... I'd buy a lot of stupid things, but yeah. I'd probably save most of it. Like the proximity, like the proximity people who didn't have money have to having all the money, the suit, like the faster they go to like crazy rich. So you're thinking that if someone had, say, a debt of ten million dollars, and they were suddenly gifted with a hundred million, they would not spend the rest of that money wisely. They would probably be like, "I'm gonna pay off this debt because I've learned my lesson," and then immediately go back on that. And immediately buy like Russian elephants. Yeah. I mean, it's just a small investment. And then, next thing you know, they're on the news as that psychopath who purchased a tank and has now declared himself the new emperor of Japan, despite being in the middle of China. 
<laughs> well, I guess how accurate he is depends on how large of a tank. I'm gonna say how large of a tank and how wealthy he is. Remember, your the correctness of your statement is directly proportionate to how much money you have in your pocket at that moment. Remember the golden rule: whoever has the gold makes the rules. Yep. Who said that? Because that sounds really familiar. That was from Aladdin. Ah. Or at least that's right. It was probably a thing that was. More than likely. I could believe that being in reference to something. That is an angry bull. Bison. Shh. Don't say his name too loud or you'll summon him. But it's not Tuesday, Jay. It's not Tuesday at all. It's not the day that Bison came and ruined this Let's Play. Man, that would be great if just like, in the middle of a Let's Play, just our Let's Play gets annexed and we get told that we're being held hostage for 50 million Bison Dollars. But how does one even get Bison Dollars? You'll have to go to the Bank of England, where they'll be exchanged one Bison Dollar for every five uh, British pounds, for that is the currency he will set when he kidnaps their Queen. I, I really didn't follow the plot of Street Fighter very much past the second one. Oh no, that was the movie. Oh, okay. And like, good on you for not watching it, because it was like... Okay, you know what? No. I'm gonna take that back. It was hilarious. Mind you, it was not a comedy. Anyway. You see, the Street Fighter movie, Cameron, was like... I'm talking about the first one, the one that was like, uh... So not the animated one. Well, uh, yeah, it was a live-action one. Okay. It was back in the... I wanna say the 80s or 90s. It was... It was a sight to behold. Like, it was... It was one of those, like, live-action movies that just makes no sense. Zangief is evil for some reason. Zangief was supposed to be evil. And then he just became a good guy. Because people fucking loved him and the USSR dissolved. Yeah. The second communism stopped being a thing, he was alright again. Wonder what Zangief's uh, opinion on Putin would be. Actually, then again, the more I think about it, Putin wrestles bears. Zangief and him are either the same person or they train together. That are they are eternal rivals. Yeah. <laughs> Every couple of years they fight for control of Russia. Putin is the Ken to his Ryu. <laughs> oh fuck, I would love to see that. You go to like Moscow right now, there's just a wrestling match between the two of them. <laughs> Being officiated by a bear. It's a bear they both wrestled into the suit. It's being officiated by Doc from Punk Out. He says, how did I get here? Why is everybody speaking Russian? What's going on? Mac, help me. Where's my chocolate bar? Where's my chocolate bar? None of this crazy Rusky chocolate. I don't know, I'd imagine Russia would have actually pretty weird chocolate. Like, not tasting weird, I mean like weird name chocolate. And not because it's like, Russian names, but like... Because there's letters that we don't have in our alphabet? Yeah, that too. Oh hey, it's the Voltron What was your plan, sir? People get attached to the idea that their gun makes them invincible. And then don't know Boy, how to this react feels great. Oh god, it's a it's an elephant with a crown, it's Bevar. How will I ever defeat his uplifting messages of tolerance and African domination? I don't think he wanted African domination. I heard a weird theory that he was like a big uh, symbolism for or colonialism. That's the one. I don't know, I never really paid that much attention to the exploits of an elephant. I didn't read Babar as a child. Or watch the cartoon. Or watch the cartoon. Actually, you know what, I think I saw a, a couple episodes of the cartoon when I was really little, but I don't really remember anything from them. Yeah, that's probably for the best. But aren't elephants native to Africa? Yeah, but he was like Western educated and he comes back and rules them as a king. Oh. Yeah. Suddenly you see where the, the whole theory starts 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I can I can see where they're coming from on that. But to be and fair, that's also like Nelson Mandela, really, with a few keywords changed. I don't know enough about Babar to really confirm or refute the theory, so I'm just gonna let it yeah. sit. Yeah, it's like me with that uh, fucking thing you and Patrick were talking about a while back. The fucking uh, theory for what's that called, Rugrats, where I was just like, yeah. Oh, where they're all dead. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. I haven't watched it in long enough, but that's probably true. Why was, why was this lion dance happening in the middle? Oh God, why do they have, why do they have a drill bot? What school doesn't have a drill bot, Jay? It's an essential way of teaching physics. Oh yeah, I remember when our old high school had the drill bot lessons. You remember that? That dumb kid got killed because of the giant drill bot. I do remember that one time in um in my science class. Uh, for grade nine, uh, this one dumbass decided to stick his uh, to stick his house keys in a uh, in an outlet and blew up part of the outlet, and then was banned from sticking things in the outlet. No, he was banned from experiments. Uh, That's a special kind of stupid right there. Yep, there was uh, also uh, our teacher who told us to uh, like. We had the one experiment where we had to light magnesium. Yeah. And she's like, okay, I want you to light it in these metal tongs. And then it fused all the tongs together. And we all did it at the same time and, like... Robbed the school of all of its tongs. Yeah. Like, if even one person had done it before everyone else, they could have been like, no, don't do it. Um... Like, I clued in that, like, the shit was welding it together. Uh, but my only alternative was to drop it. Which, you probably did the right thing by not. <laughs> so, yeah. That happened the second I touched some mushrooms. I just want to make that clear. That, like, fuck, shit just got psychedelic the second I touched these mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah, my only alternative was to drop the magnesium, magnesium uh, while burning onto the school desk. Yeah, you probably made the right call not doing that. So yeah, the tongs took one for the team. Took several for the team. Um, I remember hearing that there was another teacher who accidentally uh, put too much potassium in water and almost blew up an entire... Uh... That happened more often at our high school than I cared with it. Where the teachers were a bit lax with their uh, safety standards? Yep. Where a teacher almost did X or a student almost blew up Y. I remember a lot of fire alarms going off and not a lot of them were pulled as a result of someone doing something wrong. I remember one time the lighting board at stage crew got fired. I think I was there for that. I don't even know what caused it. Uh, and we guess, I'm gonna guess one of the performers. Why, they? Never even came near the crew booth. Like unless they wanted something, but Alright, fine, I'm gonna wait for you guys to fall. I don't know, it was one of those mysteries that never really got solved. You probably don't know. Oh god, that's And we put the fire out quick enough that it didn't damage anything. Yeah, that's about as good as you could hope from a story that started with X caught fire. <laughs> Put it out and it didn't damage anything, yeah. I guess the only other time, like, X Cop Fire can end well is with the words, it was hilarious. Oh man, I remember one time in my general science class we were distilling ethanol. Yep. And uh, we managed to find the point where the uh, flame was still visible, but really, really big. Um. And, uh, of course, the uh, Ben Affleck Daredevil movie that just came out. So, uh, someone, we had these flame retardant desks in this one science class. Yep. Which, admittedly, we probably should have had for that magnesium lab. But, you know, hindsight's 2020. Uh, so someone, um... Wrote their name or something in, uh... A, a huge flaming pair of these on the desk. It was amazing. I'm impressed. I'm assuming they were quickly caught. No, 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 the teacher just did not give a fuck. Eh, it's flame retardant. The kids aren't, they'll learn. <laughs> oh, man. 
Um, oh, I remember one time in middle school, um, we had to do a thing where, uh... Yeah, now I want to see who's laughing. Where, uh, we had to design, um... God, you know, I didn't go to the right there. We had to design, uh, a thing out of those Lego robot pieces. Yep. Uh, and we had to see who could create the thing that could climb the steepest incline. Uh, I won. Um, everyone else was building things with, like, ridiculous traction for the wheels and stuff. Yep. Uh, I just built something with a grappling hook and find a 90 degree angle. <laughs> yeah, that's a way to do it. Cheating. Eh, it's not cheating, it's just technically, I guess. If the teacher allows it, it's not cheating. But, like, I took one of those chain parts, yep. and, um, I... And one of those like pressure cannon, like tension cannon things, and just like fired that up there, and then pulled it up by the chain. Yep. Yeah. It 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 ascended a 90 degree angle. What did the teacher think? Were they like that's clever, or were they like that's bullshit? The teacher was like that's bullshit, but I won. Unfortunately, there wasn't a prize. Uh. You just had bragging rights to a class that undoubtedly hated your guts for that. Oh yeah, they were pissed. <laughs> it's, uh... Yeah, so someone got something that managed to climb like a 60 degree angle, and that was pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, yeah. And then I'm just like, you know what, just set the incline to 90. And, and they're like, what? And then grappling hook. Because, like, that wasn't the point of the experiment. The point was the teachers how to, like, use torque effectively. And in my defense, I used torque. Not the, <laughs> Not uh, the torque they, they intended, <laughs> but it was torque nonetheless. Damn you, Lart. How am I not big enough to take that much, dude? I don't know. Fuck this game sometimes. I am that town. <laughs> oh god, I can hear all the screams. Can you not hear it? The sounds of their hopes and dreams becoming me. They're becoming one with the day. With the moon. And we will see you next time, folks. See ya, folks. Oh, my God.